The Scorpion XO R1 Air is the next full sports helmet from Scorpion built for versatility and light weight, but we'll still be putting it to the test on the road to bring you the facts, so be sure to stick around. Sebastian from Champion Helmets here, and the Scorpion XO R1 Air is the latest sports helmet for riders looking for that aggressive look without having to go all out on the price. It is coming at the top of the Scorpion line with its Ultra TCT composite shell, and it's the helmet that's used by MotoGP rider Fabio Quartararo. It's coming with this strong race-ready look, but it will also pair well with more everyday street riders who want a helmet that has an extra level of safety and style. So, with the recommended retail price of about 370 euros or 440 US dollars, the R1 Air will be competing with the X-Lite X803 RS Ultra Carbon, HJC R411 Carbon, and the Shark Race R Pro Carbon. Before we get going with our review and road test, don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of our YouTube channel where we have more helmet road tests where we head out, measure data in the helmet, and bring you back the facts. A Scorpion XO R1 Air uses an Ultra TCT outer shell, which is a combination of fiberglass, aramid, and polyresin to reduce weight while still keeping a strong outer shell. However, for those looking for the best racing performance, Scorpion also offers the Scorpion XO R1 Carbon Air the carbon fiber variant of the helmet. The shell has been aerodynamically designed for both ventilation and stability, and it comes with a multi-layer EPS interior. The helmet is intermediate oval in fit and comes in three outer shell sizes, the first spanning XS to M, then one for L, and one for XL and XXL. For comfort, the cheek pads are also prepared for glasses, and though the race version of the helmet is FIM homologated, the commercially available version is currently only carrying DOT, and ECE 2205 certifications, and it's not been tested by Sharp yet. Lastly, the helmet weighs about 1,310 grams, or 2 pounds 14 ounces, which is also very light. For ventilation, the XOR1 Airs bring you two main vents. The first will be in the chin that you can open or close to reveal two metal grill air intakes, and on the inside of the chin, you also have an additional switch that will let you vent air either onto the visor to prevent fogging, or onto the helmet to help you keep cool. On top, you also have an adjustable vent in the brow that will vent air into the EPS grooves. And at the back of the helmet, all this air will come out through these two large exhausts underneath the spoilers. The visor of the R1 Air is coming pinlock repaired and tear-off repaired, and it has the insert lens in the box. Of course, it's also optical class one. But if things do get too sunny while you're out riding, then Scorpion have also provided an additional pinlock repaired dark smoke visor in the box. And in addition to the pinlock repaired visors, both are also anti-scratch treated and, again, tear-off repaired. The visor uses a locking mechanism, which is also great, though the one gripe would be that it sits a little bit loosely in the mount. Nonetheless, the visor seals well, and you can even achieve a cracked city position, and you're getting fantastic value for money already. To remove the visor, Scorpion have also made it easy. You just raise the visor into the fully open position, you push both triggers up, and then the visor just snaps out. Then you do the same on the other side, and to put the visor back in is also fairly easy. All you do is line it all up in the open position and snap it back in. For the interior, Scorpion have also not left you wanting. First off, you get a titanium double D-ring chin strap and Scorpion's Quick Wick 3 liner, which is antimicrobial, removable, washable, and moisture wicking. And the cheek pads come with glasses cutaways, and there's even emergency release cheek pads that will also come out with the neck roll. There are also speaker pockets for your choice of Bluetooth system. To remove the interior, you first need to detach the cheek pads, which are held on by snaps, and then you pull out the neck roll and cheek pads all in one large piece. The liner is comfortable, and the neck roll will do a lot in making sure the helmet stays quiet. To remove the comfort liner, you have two snaps at the back and forehead inserts, which mean you won't have any forehead pressure points, and you have plenty of open spaces in the liner for airflow. Looking at the EPS now, you have a set of very deep grooves, which will do a lot for ventilation, and you can also see the speaker pockets on either side. While we have the interior out, you can also see the Scorpion Air Fit system, which is unique to Scorpion and will help you get a perfect fit. All you have to do is use the red button to pump air into the cheeks to make sure that the helmet stays on firmly. Then the button next to this will allow the air to escape. Now, let's see how the Scorpion XO R1 Air does out on our road test. Before diving into our data, this is just a quick reminder for how we set up our road test. On the white monitor on the left, we have the helmet's internal temperature in degrees Celsius, 
taking measurements from a thermometer and a helmet's EPS. In the middle, we have our decibel meter to give us our noise measurement from a microphone placed near our rider's ear. On the right, we have a phone showing the airspeed during our test. And lastly, on the dash in the middle, we have our rider's speed and the exterior temperature. When we took this helmet out, it was a still summer day with the day's airspeed at about 115 to 130 kilometers per hour. For noise, the helmet also performed well with 98 decibels, though it still didn't quite reach the likes of the Shoei GTR2 or the HJC R70, the two quietest sport touring helmets we've tested to date. We can also put this down to the smaller number of vents and the great neck roll. For ventilation, the Scorpion's internal temperature was about 31 degrees Celsius or 87 Fahrenheit, while the exterior temperature was about 30 degrees Celsius or 86 Fahrenheit. So that's a difference of one degree. Overall, our rider was very impressed with the R1 Air, even going so far as to say it reminded him of the AGV Corsa R. He commented that it was as comfortable as could be expected with the price, had strong ventilation, was quiet, and shows that Scorpion did a good job on the helmet's aerodynamic design. We finally come to our ranking for the XO R1 Air. So, for material, since the helmet comes in three outer shell sizes and has a composite shell, it earns four stars. For the weight, with an excellent 1,310 grams, the helmet earns five stars. For the visor, since it is pinlock prepared with the insert in the box, it earns four stars. And for aerodynamics, the helmet also did fairly well with three and a half stars, since it was nice and stable while riding. For ventilation, since the helmet was one degree hotter than the outside, it earns four stars. And lastly, the helmet earns three stars for comfort, since it was comfortable, but still didn't match the likes of the Corsa. This brings the R1 Air's champion helmet score to a total of 4 stars at 16 euros per star, which also makes it a solid value for money helmet. If you'd like to learn more about the Scorpion XO R1 Air, then head to championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantee and bundle deals where you can pick up additional visors or a discounted comm system. In the end, Scorpion have managed to produce a very strong helmet. Not only does it come at a very competitive price, but it ticks all the boxes as far as safety features and more. While it won't beat the Pista or the x 3, it's a great helmet, and if you'd like to stay up to date on more data-driven road tests like these, then make sure to subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.